Real zombies exist, just not the way you think. Welcome back to Wildlife Facts. Untamed, unbelievable, uncovered. Here are 10 mind control parasites that turn animals into puppets. Watch till the end to meet the death grip. 10. Horsehair worm. Jump in. These worms may be seen in ponds, streams, lakes, rivers, and basically anything that retains water. A cricket or grasshopper looks normal, until it doesn't. One night, it's drawn toward water, steps onto the surface and leaps. The host thrashes, sinks, and then the real culprit emerges: A long, thread-like horsehair worm spiraling out into the stream. Inside the insect, the worm grew quietly, absorbing nutrients and subtly tuning the host's drive to seek water. The behavior is perfectly timed. The worm's free living stage happens in water, so the host becomes a shuttle. It's chilling because nothing about the cricket says parasite until the last moment. The payoff, water entry and escape, makes you ask a bigger question. What else can reprogram instincts that deeply? 9. Green banded brood sac, snail parasite, neon eye stalks. A forest snail wakes up with pulsating striped sacs swelling into its eye stalks. They throb in bright greens and yellows, mimicking caterpillars. Birds can't resist. They peck the swollen stalks, swallow the parasite's larval packages, and carry them to the final destination, the bird's gut. The cycle is elegantly staged, snail, bird, and back again as eggs return to the forest floor in droppings. This is not subtle. It's advertising. The parasite takes a body part meant for seeing and turns it into a neon lure. The snail still crawls and eats, but those hypnotic stalks broadcast a single message. Eat me. 8. Killifish Brain Fluke Showy Fish And refers to the biotope in which some of the first killifish was found. In shallow estuaries, a tiny trematode parasite parks itself on the brain of killifish. The fish begin to shimmy, flash, and surface more often, risky moves that catch the eye of wading birds. When birds snatch the fish, the parasite reaches its final host and completes the cycle. What looks like quirky behavior is targeted risk-taking. The parasite doesn't need perfect puppetry. It only needs to nudge the fish into a more visible version of itself. In the numbers game of predation, a little extra showmanship is a deadly script. 7. Toxoplasma, cat parasite. Cat magnet, rodents. In rodents, toxoplasma can reduce fear of cat odors, blunting avoidance circuits, and raising the odds of predation by a cat, the parasite's final host. That's the cleanest, best-supported behavioral twist. A mouse that should run from litter scent lingers. In humans, the story is very different. Evidence points to subtle influences and health risks, not cinematic zombification. It's a cultural phenomenon, because cats are everywhere, and the idea of a microbe nudging behavior is irresistible. But the headline remains. The strongest zombie-style effect is in rodents, where it matters evolutionarily, delivering the parasite back to the cat. 6. Rabies virus. Rage and spread. If you get bit by a rabid animal with a foaming mouth, you need to get to a doctor immediately. Rabies doesn't need elegance. It uses urgency. Once inside a mammal's nervous system, it alters behavior, aggression, biting, and hypersalivation to maximize transmission through saliva. It's a grim logic. The host becomes a delivery system, and the virus gets a one-way ticket to the next victim. Rabies proves a deeper point about mind control. Sometimes the simplest change, making a bite more likely, is enough to reshape entire ecosystems. It's also a stark reminder, vaccination breaks the chain. Before we move on, if you're still watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. It will help us a great deal to grow the channel. 5. Tongue-eating louse, replacement tongue. Halfway through their meal, they discovered this 
inside the fish's mouth. Open a fish's mouth and see, not a tongue. Instead, a parasitic isopod has severed the tongue's blood supply, then attached itself to the stump, becoming a living prosthetic. The fish keeps eating. The louse drinks mucus and occasionally steals food. It's not classic mind control, but it's a behavioral takeover of feeding, one of the most shocking reveals in nature. The horror works because it's so intimate. A core function, taste, grasp, swallow, now routes through an intruder. If a parasite can take the place of a body part, what else can it take? 4. Saculina, parasitic barnacle, crab puppeteer. Sometimes months later, a female larva settles onto an unsuspecting host. Saculina begins as a drifting larva and ends as a network of root-like filaments threading through a crab's body. It sterilizes the host, redirects energy to the parasite's reproduction, and can even feminize behavior. Males groom and care for parasite broods as if they were their own eggs. On the outside, all you see is a small sac under the crab's abdomen. Inside, the crab's biochemistry and instincts have been repurposed. This isn't a quick hack. It's a host rewrite. When reproduction, feeding, and caretaking shift to serve the parasite, you're watching control at the deepest layers of life. 3. Lancet liver fluke, ant on autopilot. They divide it up and take it back to the colony. By day, an infected ant acts normally with the colony. But when temperatures drop at night, one larva in the ant's body takes the wheel. The ant climbs a grass blade, crawls to the tip, and clamps its jaws, waiting to be eaten by a grazing mammal. As dawn warms the air, the ant releases and returns to work, surviving to repeat the ritual night after night until transmission succeeds. This is exquisitely precise, context-dependent control. Not constant madness, but timed, adaptive puppetry, exactly when the next host is most likely to feed. 2. Jewel Wasp, Brain Hijack. She delivers directly into the insect's brain. The jewel wasp isn't content to sting anywhere. It delivers two precision stings, first to paralyze the roach's front legs, then into key brain ganglia that regulate motivation. The roach doesn't die or sleep. It becomes docile. The wasp chews off the antennae tips, drinks a little hemolymph, and then leads the roach by an antenna stump like a leash, parking it in a burrow where it lays an egg. The larva will feed on the still living host. It's hard to find a cleaner example of targeted neural manipulation, not destruction, but behavior editing, turning a powerful, fast insect into a compliant vehicle. 1. Zombie Ant Fungus Death grip. The ant eventually dies and the fungus blooms out of its head. An infected ant leaves the foraging trail, climbs vegetation, and at a species specific height and humidity, bites down on the underside of a leaf or twig. The infamous death grip. The fungus finishes the job, sprouting a fruiting body that erupts from the ant's heads and releases spores onto the forest floor and ant trails below. The details are stunning. The exact bite location, the timing, the microclimate, all tuned to maximize fungal success. The ant's body becomes a tripod and then a launch pad. This is the archetype of natural mind control, a parasite dictating where the host dies, how it dies, and what happens next. Which parasite creeped you out most? Comment below. If this blew your mind, like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more wildlife facts. Untamed, unbelievable, uncovered.